Hi everybody, this is Dr. Ravindran Kumaran from Apollo Fesmed Hospitals in Kheer Park. So in this topic, I'm going to talk about emergencies which can happen in solid organs within the abdominal cavity. What I mean by solid organs are the liver, the spleen and the kidneys. These are proper solid organs which can have emergencies on its own, usually related to some kind of trauma, right? So if you have a road traffic accident or if you're involved in a fist brawl or if you are in a big train collision or whatever. These can trigger various injuries in the human body, but some of them can be focused within the abdominal cavity and often these so-called solid organs are involved, especially the spleen because it is a very mobile organ and it is loosely attached to its base, meaning the blood supply and so on and so forth are very variable and very loosely attached, so they get thrown around. So if you are getting ejected out of the car or a two-wheeler, then and you come to an abrupt stop, the organ within the body keeps moving and often tears itself off from its blood supply. So this can result in massive bleeding within the abdominal cavity and can be very late in presentation because you can lose 2, 3, 4, 5 liters of blood which is the virtual whole uh, blood volume in our system into the abdominal cavity and yet the tummy will look relatively normal. It is not that immediately it is going to bulge up and kind of give a warning saying that something is happening in the abdomen. So patients will often only have pain and when especially when they are involved in a big accident there are often other injuries which can divert your attention and you don't think of the abdomen till it is very late. So you have to you know any major accident even if you feel you are perfectly okay I think it is better to go to a hospital emergency department preferably in an ambulance so that they can check you out and make sure that none of these kind of hidden injuries are happening. The major injuries of the spleen or the liver will require often prolonged hospitalization may require surgical intervention depending upon how big the injury is before the patients can be discharge. Newer developments can give rise to options of preserving these organs. You know, uh, spleen is an organ which can be removed if required because it is not a vital organ, but you don't talk about liver, removing somebody's liver or the kidney. So often those organs will have to be preserved at any cost. The spleen can also be preserved if the tear is not too big or if the blood loss is relatively contained. If you have a big injury, then often the spleen has to be removed and it is fine because the often, you know, in adults, the role of the spleen is very minimal and it can be easily kind of substituted with various vaccinations to prevent infections in the long run, which is what the spleen predominantly does. Thank you.